Never mind, I didn't call him that. I hear someone in maybe the, the center. What's that? That's that. Hey guys, my name is X Factor. Hopefully, you're having a great day. Welcome to some Rainbow Six gameplay. We're in Ibiza on Coastline, featuring one of the two new operators known as Mira. Two placeable one way mirrors. And this is the name of the game. As long as the mirror is up, they can't see you, you can't shoot through it, they can't shoot through it. You can see them, and you can just wall for days. And there's multiple head games that you can play with Mira, and you're starting to see Mira be paired up with the Lord for some pretty disgusting spots. Now, a lot of times you're gonna wanna place your mirror on a reinforced wall next to something that isn't reinforced. So you can actually walk your crosshair or optic over and try to drop some damage picking a kill or two. But once that usually happens, the jig is up and you're gonna get sprayed out. Now you can place it high at eye level and you can place it low as well. If that doesn't work for you, the vector might where it does have pretty good damage fall off at the medium long range. It is a shredder, 1200 rounds a minute of absolute pain train but don't be a goofer like me i actually went an entire live stream an entire night without purchasing and equipping an optic until the very end i partially blame the massive cold medicine that i'm on and no i know what you're thinking and asking the acog is not available more than likely for balance reasons so i think i threw on a holographic and was much happier a lot easier to line up those one taps with the head and a clearer picture to what you're looking at, getting out all those different posts that are on the vector. When it comes to placing and seeing the one-way mirrors, you have to be careful of a couple things, especially on reinforced walls. If the attackers start pushing in, they actually take over one of the rooms that you have a one-way mirror, they can use it to their advantage. Or, just like you saw there, there can be a reinforced wall murder hole which can be absolutely disgusting and turned against you extremely fast. So be care very careful when you pick those positions that you have a secondary position or another angle that you can cover that from, or you could use them as bait. Think that's something that they can take over, only to really line them up from another angle. But the mirrors can easily be countered by a twitch one shot from the drone and several other gadgets can take them out not to mention a single bullet from the placement side where that red canister is when they do pop that with something it does take two or three seconds for the animation to complete the glass to drop and then you can shoot through both sides the one-way mirror is gone you can see through them so as much as we saw great mirror placements Oftentimes, it can be turned against you as a defender. And sometimes you thought a placement wasn't so great, and then it helped your team mop up the attackers in a split second. So be very mindful of all the different angles that can be pulled on you depending on where you're setting up. And speaking of nasty angles, let's talk bomb first floor kitchen. The B bomb is right by the exit doorway. They can nail that. They can walk a couple feet in, they can drop the diffuser. Now next to that is bathroom, where there's three or four reinforceable walls in a row. You could set up a one-way mirror there and keep that from happening, because the problem with that spot for the defenders is if they get that diffuser down on B, they can watch it from outside and just pick you apart every time you go to push that, because there are multiple angles that you have to worry about and you will get picked apart. So here's an example of Balls are love, balls are life, and we're working the theater and penthouse area in what should be and could have been an easy 4v1 as we're slowly dropping the diffuser and putting the old pincer maneuver. But because there's so much internal destruction for coastline, you really have to be careful. And the ball saved me. Here right now. Well, I hear him hit it. Wow! 
fucked by the balls. If you're having a hard time cracking a heavy roamer team, you might want to bust out Jackal. With a PDW9 51 in the mag, it brings a lot of stopping power because at the end of the day, it only takes one in the dome to put the bad guy down. And one of the neat things about Coastline is actually this internal courtyard. Now, there's multiple ways to push as attackers from the roof through the courtyard breaching first and second floor. There's some pretty good spots, but you can also easily get picked off by a one tap as you're running across the rooftop. Really easy to hear from the second floor. Just got to catch the one breach point from up top or the multiple spots they can drop down from the courtyard. So it's a high risk, high reward type of breach. Only saw it successful once. Doesn't mean it can't be successful in the future. So when you're using your visor, you have limited visibility range. If you get near a mute, it messes up your visor. If you're being shot at, it messes up your visor. But it does show you footprints, which is great. And of course, there is a heat map. If they're red, you might want to start looking up because more than likely they're on top of you. And as the color cools off, the farther they are away. You scan, you can scan their footprints. And what that does is it, one, alerts the enemy player that they've been scanned. It screams at you on your screen. And, of course, there's three or four times it blips and puts you on the map for all of your attacker buddies to see. So you got to be really careful if you're behind a destroyable wall or something that could be walled out or if you're not in the move if you are roaming more than likely you're gonna get pinched now the nice thing about it is if you are caviera you can stealth walk and your footprints can't get picked up but the second you drop out of that stealth walk they'll be able to see those print footprints and scan you are able to do up to three scans so be very careful Great way to pin them all in and near the objective and clear heavy roaming teams, which at the end of the day could shut down big pushes that you might be putting on as an attacker. When it comes to his PDW-9, you can equip an ACOG, which is really nice if you're trying to shoot long lanes or hallways or work on window peekers from outside. Gives you an advantage compared to some of the other weapons in the game. Not able to have an ACOG right now, such as Mira. So there you see another cheeky peek through one of Mira's windows that was open. So you really have to be careful how you use those. And again, referring back to my previous statement, you can use the defender's mirrors against them. So keep in mind, if you take over a room, if somebody can get a Twitch drone in there, if they can zap it, or if they can use one of their gadgets to blow it open, now you've got this perfect high-level murder hole that you can back off and play from multiple angles. So be very careful, again, of your mirror placements because they can be quickly used against you, and what you thought was a safe, secure room is now an absolute bloodbath. Another quick tip to playing Coastline as the attacker, sometimes your drone is going to actually spawn on the rooftop of the building. You're actually going to want to do a complete 180, and you're going to see the opening to the courtyard. If you think their bombs or the objective is on the first floor, you might want to jump off. But if you have a feeling it's on the second floor, you don't have to get crazy with the movement, getting on some of the hanging platforms. You can actually find one of a couple vents that's available on the rooftop to drop you into the second floor near theater and, of course, the penthouse as well, where some of the objectives are located, depending on what game mode you are playing. And as a tip for defenders, when it's talking about kitchen, this A side, back side, run a castle, run a mirror reinforce everything because the last thing you want to do is be shot in the back because you're trying to hold b door and b bathroom now here's another cheeky spot where i killed countless people on the roof with the old one taps it's a great way to actually control b door one of the most common pushes again talking about kitchen so once you control the backside, maybe kill a guy or two trying to come roof if that's the push this is that B door and that nasty plant location that I was talking about earlier. They step in a couple feet, they get the diffuser down, and it's really hard for the defenders to come back on that one. But be careful, once you play that card or they know about it, they're gonna be watching it. That main door can be watched from afar in multiple angles, more than likely trying to play you for the pick, pick you in turn, 
and put the favor back in their hands. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's Rainbow Six Velvet Shell video. Had a little bit of fun with us. And don't forget to check out the link in the description down below where you can read up more on the Season 2 Season Pass, where you can pick it up, where you can buy it, and more information. As always, thanks for watching and hanging out. We'll see you guys soon.